Heavy is boring. It's a phrase I can guarantee you've heard a few times in one way or another. Most people would describe heavy gameplay as rev up, shoot, sniff some glue, and throw a sandwich every once in a while. Average heavy gameplay is about as spicy as a toast sandwich. And a lot of that, I think, boils down to how the community perceives his weapon choices. Well, like Medic, Heavy has kind of hit a stone wall in terms of his loadouts. You get the Tomislav, Sandwich, and the Fists of Steel. And if you're feeling extra quirky, you can use the Gloves of Running Urgently. Or Gru for short. There's not a whole lot of room for experimentation, which leaves him feeling stale. It's not like Heavy doesn't have items that switch up his playstyle either. I mean, look at the steak. An item that allows you to forego the minigun and use your melee like a primary weapon? Only one other class can say they have an entire melee subclass. Fucking heavy was a goddamn giga chat, like actually. Fucking best heavy of all time. <laughs> Problem is, the stake is the gameplay equivalent of bringing a knife to a gunfight and using it to cut your arms off. So it's just been relegated to meme status. Plus, raw beef can give you E. coli. It's easy to see why Heavy's loadouts have become so static. The defensive utility of the sandwich just feels too good to pass up. The ability to heal yourself to full health in a pinch or give it to a teammate to heal them makes you more tanky and solidifies you as the team's anchor. Not to mention it's goddamn delicious. That succulent combination of tender meat, fresh Swiss cheese, crispy lettuce, and that savory pimento stuffed olive on top like the cherry on an ice cream sundae. It is heavenly. However, I'm here to entertain the idea that maybe the sandwich isn't the 100% go-to pick it's cracked up to be, and maybe Heavy's kit is more flexible than people give it credit for. Now before I continue, I want to make myself very clear because I am walking on a minefield covered in eggshells. I'm not trying to argue that the shotgun is a better item than the sandwich. I might as well try swimming with concrete shoes. The last thing I want to do is label myself as the bad take guy in the community, because that is a fate worse than death. Uh... Come on, it's, it's not funny anymore. I really don't want to offend all five heavy memes. I'm pretty sure Big Joey could squish my head in between his thighs like a watermelon. So what I am here to do is to try to get you to try something new. Something you might end up liking. If you think heavy is a boring class and you want to try and change things up a little, you're going to want to hear me out. Here is why I play heavy with the shotgun. And I have a shotgun. <laughs> Let me prove it. I've been hearing the theory that the sandwich is supposed to be Heavy's original secondary instead of the shotgun, getting tossed around like it's a fact and not some playground rumor kids tell each other at recess to look smart. The year is 2007 and everything sucks. The internet is slow and janky, the world was in the midst of a global recession, Spider-Man 3 came out, Radiohead released in rainbows. Actually, that, that one was pretty cool. It's also the first year of TF2's life, and Heavy is a much slower class. It takes about the same time to rev up as the modern day Natasha, and you even move slower while revved up compared to modern TF2. Back then, the shotgun was a positioning tool meant to help you deal damage without needing to make the huge time commitment of the mini yet. But over time, the Heavy got buffs to make him faster. So you think that would completely invalidate the shotgun and the purpose it once served in Heavy's kit. To that, I say not quite. That's ridiculous, you may be thinking. After all, compared to the shotgun, the minigun deals more damage, doesn't need to reload, and can mow down swarms of enemies. Now I know this sounds like a hot take, and not just a hot take, the infernal take. But no good argument is complete without a thesis statement, so at least hear me out. Shotguns provide a reliable source of damage without losing movement speed or mobility. Yo, let's go! 
Over the years, the pace of TF2's action has gotten faster exponentially as players have gotten a grip on the game's mechanics and improved at them. Soldiers are doing crazy rollouts and nailing nutty air shots. Spies have perfected the art of chain stabbing and annoying the hell out of me. And overall, TF2 is a very fast, very chaotic game. Just because the minigun speed has been buffed since the early days of TF2 doesn't completely negate the shotgun's existence. Today, the stock minigun takes a little under a second to charge, but sometimes that 0.9 seconds can be the difference between life and death. It's good to have a weapon that you can instantly shoot at the press of a button, which still makes the shotgun a good tool for positioning, protecting yourself from getting caught with your pants down. If you unrev your minigun and the scout gets in your face, you can just meat shot them twice in almost the same amount of time it would take to get your minigun revved up. Especially for miniguns with slower rev times like the Brass Beast and Natasha. The Brass Beast pretty much necessitates using a shotgun due to how well it covers its weaknesses. Shotguns are also completely silent until you fire, so if you're a heavy who likes to flank and spank like me, it's good to have a shotgun out to quickly take control of the flank until you can get into a position where you can safely rev behind enemy lines. Never underestimate the power of a good flanking heavy. The added mobility of this shotgun also helps with enemies that retreat around corners. If an enemy runs around a corner, by the time you get that minigun revved up again, they're gonna be long gone. But with the shotgun, you're able to catch up to that rapscallion before you can get out of your range. Not only that, but the added mobility of the shotgun allows you to play around corners and corner peek, something the slow speed of the minigun doesn't allow unless you commit to a full jump rev. And the shotgun isn't just good for getting in and positioning, it's also good for getting the hell out. Since the shotgun doesn't slow you down when using it, it makes for a great escape tool. If you're in a pickle, whip out the shotgun and retreat with it so you have damage to rely on while falling back without losing speed. A meat shot or two is either enough to scare off an enemy chasing you or kill them. Not to mention the added mobility of the shotgun allows you to surf damage to get away or be aggressive. No one expects a heavy to surf an explosion and fly at their face with a shotgun out. And that's not all that added mobility does for you. All that running has its benefits too. Soldier Boy Tell. Hey, I got this new damn for y'all called a Soldier Boy. Oh, I got oh, the shotgun can also help cover for the minigun in case it runs out of ammo. Now, ideally, you'd never run out of minigun ammo and properly conserve it, but hey, nobody's perfect and we all make mistakes, alright? If you want to see mine, just look back at my earlier videos. Hey guys, welcome to another speed run. I'm the what? Um, just gotta take the baseball rat, put him right here, and uh, here we go. Even the best heavies have moments where they run out of ammo. And if you have the sandwich, you can either try to use your melee and knock someone's block off, or run away like a little bitch. But a heavy running the shotgun is no little bitch. They can continue the charge and push forward with their trusty shotgun. Now, am I suggesting you blow through all of your minigun ammo like I blow through all of the goodwill I have left in this community? <sighs> Well, of course not, but it's good to have the contingency plan. Especially with the Huo Long Heater, which is really easy to run out of ammo with. The miniguns aren't the only weapons that synergize well with the shotguns. There's a little thing I like to call movement heavy, which is a playstyle I made in order to squeeze every last bit of mobility I can out of heavy. Basically, if you use the Gru with a shotgun, most times I choose the panic attack, you can have the on-demand speed of classes like Pyro and Engineer, while still retaining the tankiness of Heavy, while also having a minigun at your disposal too. Now, switching all of your weapons around with this playstyle would seem hard due to the Gru's built-in switch speed penalty, but lucky for you, I have a little trick for that. Holy crap guys, I just found the craziest bug. If you swap between all weapons quickly instead of just going to the weapon you want, you completely bypass the holster speed penalty. Make sure to sign up for TF Cash for Kids and gamble all the money your parents were saving for your college fund. There's one more special use for the shotgun I don't think I've seen anyone else discuss before. Do you hate snipers? Do you really hate snipers? Would you sacrifice your firstborn son to see him removed from the game? Well boy, do I have the thing for you. A fun fact about the shotguns is that even with random bullets spread on, 
One pellet will always land perfectly on your crosshair, even from the longest of ranges. When scoped in with a sniper rifle, every time you take damage, you flinch a little bit, flicking your aim upwards and making it difficult to click on heads. So if you know a sniper is holding down a sightline and you need to cross, a little trick you can do is pepper them with shotgun bullets to ruin their aim, while spamming jump and crouch to make your head hitbox harder to hit. Now this isn't guaranteed to work against every sniper, but it's a little trick I have up my sleeve that saved my skin quite a few times. There's a certain degree of freedom the shotgun grants you that you just can't replicate with an RB sandwich. You get the freedom to cover larger amounts of ground faster without needing to solely rely on the minigun for damage, and you have the freedom to be more aggressive without needing to worry about your ammo count. The best part is that up until now, I've only been talking generally of the shotguns. But as a heavy, you have a nice garden variety of shotguns at your disposal. The stock shotgun is great for its all-around consistency, the family business kills light classes faster and has a better sustain, and the panic attack can be pulled out quickly making it great for rapidly switching between weapons. Oh, right. I could sit here all day and talk about the benefits of the shotgun, but that wouldn't address the problem at its core. No matter how many upsides the shotguns have, if they can't compare to the sandwich, then why even bother? So let's take a look at why the sandwich has dominated over the shotguns in the public eye for years now. The sandwich allows you to heal to max health over the course of a few seconds like doing heroin, at the cost of needing to stand still because running and chewing is dangerous. The thing is, is that there's a lot of sources for healing in TF2. Medics, dispensers, health packs, a payload cart, so on and so forth. With a competent team, you're never too far away from being healed to full health. While the benefit of healing with this sandwich is nice, it alone doesn't cement itself as the king of all secondaries, especially because the banana has it outclassed in that regard. Now that's not to disregard the sheer defensive value of on-demand healing. But all I'm saying is there are alternatives, so you don't need to completely rely on it. The biggest draw for the sandwich has actually become its secondary feature. Every 30 seconds, you can toss the sandwich to heal a teammate for half their max health. After all, sharing is caring. Every now and then, you can top your medic girlfriend's health off, or even toss it to a friend in need. If you're feeling extra devious, you can use the sandwich like a carrot on a stick and rope enemies in for an ambush. Healing with the sandwich makes you a good person, and it makes you feel like a good person. After all, the real Team Fortress was the friends we made along the way. Think of all the poor faces you'll be disappointing by foregoing packing your lunch in favor of packing heat. Those poor, starving teammates begging, pleading for even one crumb of your delicious meat. And you know what? I'm here to say that that's okay. You are a girl boss. You don't need to bow down and please your teammates. Medic. Oh no, he has he has a oh, there's no sandwich. Girl boss. Oh, medics, nice. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't oh. don't do that heavy. <laughs> What do these pieces of shit ever do for me, huh? Always leaving me behind a frag only to come crawling back from my sandwich. And did I just suddenly grow two feet or is that the soapbox under my feet? Oh look, I'll spare you the long unhinged rant I had prepared and just keep it brief. This sandwich is a great defensive item and utility. But just like real life, if you eat the same thing every day over and over, you're gonna get bored of it eventually. Variety is the spice of life, my friend. And if you ever want to try something new, I'd say try mixing a shotgun into your heavy gameplay. They allow a much more aggressive and oppressive playstyle that allows you to be a much more mobile threat. So if you think heavy is boring and want to try something new, I think it's time you go on a diet. I mean, at least it can't get any worse. Oh my god!